Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to be showing you how to add a global block to your website that can be changed to one place and affect all of the other places using one plugin. Let's go ahead and install a new plugin. Once we do that we're going to search the plugin repository for global blocks. Once we find it, it should be the first one that pops up here. And we're going to go ahead and click install now. And once it's done installing, we're going to activate it. Now once this is activated, it's going to give you a new menu over here at the top left called Global Blocks. So if we go ahead and check out all of our items, we're not going to have anything found right here. So we're going to go ahead and have to add a new one. So let's add a new block. And basically this is just the same as making a page in Cornerstone, except it's dedicated to be single and you can uh, add it anywhere with a short code or inside of Cornerstone with an element. So let's go ahead and create one. I want to do this for um, like an apply now or contact us button. So contact us button. And no one's actually going to see the title except for you. So let's go ahead and publish. Okay, so once we publish the block, you can see down here at the bottom, they give us a short code, which we're able to use inside of the header builder, the footer builder, uh, anywhere that accepts a short code if you're not using Cornerstone. So let's go ahead and build out our section that we're going to be using. Let's click the Pro tab and edit with Pro. Okay, now that this is loaded up, we're going to go ahead and add a section. And let's go ahead and add a button. This is going to be simply contact us with a link to the contact page. Uh, let's make this button center. And I'm just doing a little bit of styling here. Just so we're good. I'm going to add. I'm, so what I like to do is take off all of the padding for the actual section itself because when you put it inside of the other section then it's going to add another 45 pixels of padding on the top and bottom as well so I like to go ahead and remove those and also remove this column container as well just because it's going to do the same thing when we add it into it um, okay so contact us and I want to go ahead and add Let's just add another row on top and let's split this row in half and let's do a uh, featured headline with our phone number. Make it a little bit smaller. Make it centered. And let's do the same thing with our email address. All right, and all right, so let's do that. Let's add a little bit of padding. To this one. Oh, 30 on the top. All right, so perfect. That's what I want it to look like. This way we can change it wherever we need to change it. So let's go ahead and save this. We're going to go back to our exit to dashboard. All right, so now we have our global block right here. All right, let's go ahead and add it to some pages. I want to add it to our main home page down here at the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and edit this page with Cornerstone. And once this loads up, we'll go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom, add a new section, call this contact us. We're going to go to our elements and type in global. And we'll click and drag this right into our spot. So let's go ahead and select the contact us button that we added. And there we have it. It's right there for us. 
let's go ahead and save this and let's do the same thing on another page so let's go to the about section let's add the contact button at the bottom of this page as well which I don't have any content so we'll just add a section all right select the contact us button and save and one, let's do one more page let's do the fire page there's nothing on this page as well so we don't have to worry about that add a section type in global and we'll select the contact us button block and let's save this and open this up in a new tab okay so we have the home or the uh, fire the about and the home page down at the bottom let's go ahead and let's say we change our phone number from one two three four to one two four five so we go back to our global blocks let's edit this with pro and once we load cornerstone Let's go ahead and change our phone number to one, two, four, five. So let's go ahead and save that. Exit our dashboard, view our website. So now that we scroll down, we have one, two, four, five. All right, let's go to the about section. One, two, four, five and fire one, two, four, five. If you accidentally put the wrong link or if you change the link to your contact page it would be just as simple as going in to your block changing the link and just hitting save and once you hit save all of your changes get applied right then and there so you don't have to worry about making the changes anywhere else or making sure that it actually made the change it's a great plugin to do global information such as contacts or forms or um, just information that might be re repeated throughout the website. So kudos to the developers, Michael Paul Bourne and Roy Anger for the awesome plugin. I hope you guys love the plugin and you use it. Uh, I'll put the download link in the description if you guys want to go ahead and download it today. It's 100% free, which makes the plugin even better. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I will see you guys at the next one.